Welcome back to the channel, my YouTube family. How are you doing today? Hope you're all safe and well. And today we are going to deep dive into upgrading weapons in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I think this will be helpful for some of you that are just starting out. So I've put together as much of a comprehensive guide as I can. Let's do it! <laughs> Welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakdown Point, and I thought what I would do is before we get started, I wanted to do, define a little bit what upgrading your weapons means, and there are three ways, in my opinion, upgrading your weapons. Weapons. So upgrade means improvement or enhancement, as far as I'm concerned. That's my opinion. So in Ghost Breakpoint, where uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. You can either use attachments to upgrade your weapon, you can do blueprints, or you can use the upgrade system that they provide. So we're gonna go through all of that in a fair bit of detail today. I'm not gonna go in a lot of detail on the attachments, so if you want me to do a separate video on that, I'm happy to do that. So where to find the, the attachments? Well, there is one spot on the map to find the attachments. And that is by talking to the people that have those little information symbols above their heads. Um, speak to as many of those people and it will give you an option to either um, to either uh, pick up a gun location, an attachment location or a bivouac. And um, there we go, there's an attachment there, small SMG small magazine. So... Um, if the, you want, that's the way you want to get your attachments to your guns. A lot of fun, run around the the island, you know, infiltrate bases, all kinds of stuff, and pick up your um, attachments right there. Of course, if you're um, if you're lazy like I am, you just go to the bivouac shop or Irwang shop, go to buy, and if you go scroll along to that little icon with the gun and the gear. There's a number of attachments there. Now, be very careful um, in choosing these and figuring out which gun they fit on. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a whole lot of attachments you are not going to use. But um, also be careful of some of those descriptions because, uh, as we're going to see in a minute, there are positives and negatives to every attachment. So I'm not going to give you a comprehensive uh, guide on attachments. If you want me to do that, leave some comments down below. But effectively, to get to the attachments, click on the gun you want to upgrade and you'll see it says Editing Gunsmith down in the bottom of the little panel there. Whatever it is for your system, you just click on that and it'll bring you to this screen. And you can see on the kind of right bottom hand corner there, there's a whole lot of attachments for you to choose from, depending on what you find, what you've bought, etc. Of course, it's going to vary depending on where you are in the game and you know what you want to have. So, um, you know, I've just come across when I've done bases, I just come across some of this stuff. Now, we click into some of these grips here, and you can see that there are positives and there are negatives on all of these attachments. So, just take your time to assess what is going to work for you, and then just click. A for equip or whatever is in your system and equip them and off you go and my my um, suggestion is try a couple of these out and just see what is working for you because there's a few that will surprise you so the second way of upgrading your weapons is through blueprints and again you'll find blueprints all over the map um, we had a few there I think Again, with these blue dots, they should show up on the map. There's one down here somewhere. There you go. There's a blueprint um, for the HTI. Um, so if you and you'll get two skill points when you get that. If you want to do those little missions to get uh, weapons, you can do that. Now, once you have got these, you go to the shop. I'm in the bivouac here the shop and you'll see up in the top left there there's three options there's a buy option there is a blueprint option build weapons or there is a sale option so 
you'll see when you come to the blueprints, it will give you a general list. There you go, of um, what you can buy, and then when you, as you kind of start to make your way through this list in the different variants, it will give you the guns that you've already got, um, and it will cost you a small sum. You can see eight hundred seems to be the the going rate to build these. And um, there's no guarantee on this 500 for the pistols. Um, I think it's mostly 800, yeah. Apart from the pistols. So, to, um, to pick one of these up, and um, let's see if we've got the one that we've got equipped here so we can build it. Here we go. We will build the K1A. Here we go, and it, we've got a purple version of work done. Now, continue. Once you've done that, it will put it into your inventory. But the problem is with this is you never quite know. So they see we have a blue, uh, a blue version of this gun at the moment. Two hundred nine weapon rating, uh, range. It gives a plus 10 range and a plus 10 meters automatic marking. Now, with the one we've just built, it's actually improved um, the range and it's given us more accuracy. Now, once you equip this, all your attachments that you had on the previous version will just transfer straight over. There you go. So that is a nice way of just keeping your weapon score up. It doesn't affect anything as far as the stats down the bottom there, the handling stats or anything like that. It just purely gives you a maybe a different level of weapon color-wise, and it will give you some unique attributes that you might not have. But it's not going to change the damage, the ammunition type, the reload speed, nothing like that. It doesn't change anything like that. And I'll, you can see that's true because you can see that's a 30 damage and this is a 30 damage. So there's the side-by-side -side comparison. Nothing, if you look right down at the bottom under all those lines, nothing has changed. It's purely those two um, unique markers that up the top just under the the little name of K1A. So, um, or Kia, could be a Kia. So that's Blueprints. It gives you less flexibility. It's okay. it's more like rolling the dice, if you like, um, as far as that goes. And thirdly, is the actual updating. Now, to get to the up, sorry, upgrading. The actual upgrades are here, right here. Now, you get to this in the same way as you do with the attachments. Just edit in Gunsmith, and these will be under the gun. And you can see here, um, what it will tell you is, you know, that's an improvement to range and it requires assault rifle parts. Um, accuracy needs advanced weapon parts, so on and so forth. So it'll tell you the exact parts you need. It'll tell you how many parts you need. So you can see for there, for instance, and in addition to the range, it's going to need eight metal parts and I've got 14. That's going to need uh, two improved weapon parts, and I've got 53, etc. So that's what it tells you. Now, to be able to unlock Mark 2 and Mark 3, you will have to have in your skill tree um, these unlocked. These ones here, they are. So that allows you to upgrade. So you're going to have to spell skill po spend skill points upgrading to allow the weapon to upgrade to Mark II, and then the weapon to upgrade to Mark III. Very, very important. Um, if you want to see what your inventory is like, just go down here. You can see it says inventory. Click into that and scroll down a bit, and eventually you're going to come to your resources. And you can see launcher parts, handgun parts, SMG parts, standard weapons, elite weapon parts, shotguns, it's all in here. It's, it's not very well organized, 
but it is all here so you can figure out if you've got the if you want to have a quick look and see what you need to get and um, you can come in here otherwise you just you know basically as i showed you just have a look under here it actually tells you and then to upgrade you just press a or whatever it is for your system so you see those were both white because i've upgraded that part and i need to get two more metal parts now the easiest way to get these parts is to break down weapons like this you can see there's a dismantle it says dismantle there why um and then we might have enough not quite we've got what we need one more metal part um but when it breaks down the weapons it will give it may well give you a number of um a number of uh different parts for your gun so you will find some of these parts when you're roaming around and looting as well so uh, just be aware of that see if there's anything else so i've got tac 50 that's twin uh, handling and blah blah so we break that down and just see there's one metal part one sniper part one advanced weapons part just at that one gun so now we can upgrade this to mark and get ready for mark three so we'll upgrade it and what will happen is it'll take in this new screen and if you have already got parts ready you can start upgrading to your heart's content there you go and what's that going to need elite weapons part elite high-end weapons parts And basically all we need is metal again and metal's probably the hardest for you to grab so that's it guys that's how to upgrade your weapons in um ghost recon breakpoint hopefully this is this makes sense for you um i thought i would cover it because i was watching a couple of friends of mine who just started playing the game and it wasn't totally clear how to do that and I thought, well, if they, they can't quite figure it out, then I'm sure there's a lot more people that might have benefit from me doing a little bit of a weapons upgrade video. So, guys, that's it for today. If you want to see more Ghost Recon Breakpoint, let me know in the comments down below but, or leave a like. If you've got some subjects that you want me to cover and you're not sure about, um, again leave some comments i'm happy to do videos we have done that in the past there's a whole lot of weapons guides and whatnot that have been um, done um, via uh, viewers suggestions for this game take care guys we'll catch you next time on gaming for xp see ya